Morning, good morning. Hello and welcome back. We are once again doing the simulcast with uh, my Discord friends. Uh, by the way, if you haven't joined us on our Discord, make sure you join us on our Discord. Uh, every Friday is poker night. Okay, poker night on, on Discord. There's a, usually go on, uh, poker game starts at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so like 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time. So if you are bored or lonely or wants to hang out with some people, just come hang out with us, okay? I won't be there, but uh, we have quite a few people who's going to be there playing games, okay? And, uh, and I'm gonna be busy doing stuff on Friday nights. But again, once again, if you got nothing else to do, waste some time. We have a Jordan's gonna join us, and also Ryan and Brent and Jabba Jake, and who else is gonna show up? Uh, I, we have some more people who's going to show up for the poker game, okay? So, I mean, once you got the poker game going, uh, my plan, okay, I think our plan is we have enough people and then hopefully we're going to have some prizes down the road as well, okay? We're going to have some down the road. You're going to have some really fun prizes uh, from various vendors. So, yeah, it's going to be, we're going to go slowly, okay? We're going to go slowly with our poker night on Fridays on Discord, but eventually it's going to get big, okay? So make sure, uh, get your spot ready to go, okay? Make sure you get your spot ready. Uh, meantime, we have a Mega is joining us for the first time. Shout out to Mega. All right, M-E-G-A. Okay, let's see who, oh, by the way, uh, again, if you are first time joining us for the my live streaming, let me know. Okay, let me know there as well. And then uh, let's see here, what else? Uh, it's gonna be a fun conversation this morning. We are going to talk about the two hottest uh, 64, million, 64 millimeter grinder in the current market right now in two, two, uh, 2023. We are talking about under $400. So this is like really, really good, the entry level coffee grinder that, you know, you know it doesn't have to you know, break your bank, okay? Uh, one of them is a Timer 064S, okay, 064S. The other one is uh, just released, uh, DF64 Gen 2, not the uh, version 5, okay? So make sure you get the Gen 2, all right, Gen uh, Generation 2, okay? So this one is from, you can get it from Espresso Outlet. I have the link down below. And it comes to Timer 064S, uh, I believe uh, you can actually uh, still go to the timer, the Kickstarter page, you can order one, but I think they're starting to shipping now. Correct me, I'm wrong, guys. Uh, but if you have this grinder already, let me know, okay? Let me know when you guys got that grinder. Uh, they're both 64 millimeter, obviously, both stock birds, okay? And then uh, we're gonna talk about even more detail. The things I like about it and also things I don't like about it both grinders, and then after that, let's pour some shot, okay, let's make some coffees with it. Okay, it should be a lot of fun here. Again, uh, if you're a first timer, uh, welcome to the live streaming. Uh, we go live daily, uh, trying to go at least once in the morning, and then I'm trying to go maybe in the afternoon, once in a while or so, yeah. In the meantime, uh, Rick uh, made a comment uh, saw someone post on Timer Facebook group that 64 is terrible. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's find out. Okay, let's find out how good this grind. Uh, I made a plenty of videos on uh, 64S, so, but so far, so good. But you know what? That's the reason why I do live streaming anyway. I mean, at least you guys, uh, you guys are going to see for yourself. Okay. Aaron says shipping for the US is now November. Goodness, now is November. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, Dylan, are you in the live chat right now? I'm going to have to ask Dylan uh, from Espresso Outlet. And uh, Dylan, if you're there, let me know, okay, when uh, they can expect to get their uh, Gen 2, all right? Gen 2 DF64. Let me know in the uh, live chat comment section as well, okay? Love to hear what you have to say from Espresso Outlet. I think they are the one uh, vendor for the U.S. market right now, so hopefully... Dylan's gonna let us know. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, uh, meantime, we're gonna wait for his comment. Uh, we have uh, someone from Vietnam. Okay, joining us from Vietnam as well. 
I cannot, uh, I cannot say that name. Trung, yeah. yeah. But anyway, welcome to the live chat as well. Welcome to the live chat. Okay, so let's get going. Let's get going. All right, let's get going here. Again, uh, I'm going to be brewing coffee with Dimelo from Canada. So Dimelo is a Korean coffee roaster from Canada. I know a lot of Koreans going to Canada lately. Uh, you say Annyeong means hello, okay? Annyeong means hello. Yeah. It, it's a, uh, this is really good coffee. Uh, it's called Butterfly Kiss. Okay, Butterfly Kiss. All right. I'm going to flip the camera for a second. There we go. So let's talk about both grinders. I'm going to give you guys summary version of it. Okay, I'm going to go, go summary version. Okay, DF64 just came out recently. Uh, I mean, everything about this grinder is they upgrade from regular DF. Okay. I'm gonna, they, they actually has a built-in uh, popcorn stopper, okay? Because before that, there's nothing to stop the, you know, uh, coffee is popping up. So they actually revised it. Now it's built-in as well. And also a built-in plasma generator, okay? Which means there's no static, uh, anti-static. So that alone is huge. So. Uh, and also, obviously, comes the bellow. Uh, let's grind some coffee. Okay, let me show you. Okay, I'm just gonna get all the coffee grinds out. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about retention. Okay. Talk about the retention there. I measured out 18 grams here. And they just make sure watch out for the static. Okay, make sure watch out for the static. There's no static. I'm gonna do a couple of pumps after. Okay, 18 gram going in. 18, 17.9. That's pretty good, okay. That's not bad at all. I'm just gonna pump a few more times here. Okay. Yep. So it comes to static wise. Look at that, it's pretty clean. Okay, so this is what plasma generator does. Okay, so this is fantastic. All right. Okay, let's take a look at the timer. 064S. Okay, uh, grind size. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use it, but we'll see. I'm just going to do tilt the scale. Has a magnetic base. I'm going to start my grinder. Eighteen gram going in here. Okay, obviously, TF-65 is much faster. And after that, uh, DF-60 uh, timer comes with a, it's called knocker, okay? Knock out all the static there. Okay. All right, again, so that one, so, Timer does not have a plasma generator, so as you can see, you're going to see some static. Uh, this one, timer cannot do direct dosing. Okay. Comes to retention wise, it's not that bad either, 7.9. So this one, you cannot do uh, direct dosing. You have to go straight to the dosing cup. Uh, fortunately, with the F64, uh, you can always do, if you don't want to use the dosing cup, uh, you can use the 
directly using their dosing ring as well just like that so you can do uh, direct dosing because uh, uh, again you don't have to worry about static issues so I mean having the plasma generator is really really handy okay so really handy there uh, comes to price wise $3.99 for this last time I check okay last time I check goodness a timer is around just under what $400 Okay, so it's a uh, price is about about the same price range. Okay, about the price range. So, uh, uh, look like Joe in the light. Hey Joe, when you guys uh, when you guys shipping out the uh, DF sixty four Gen two? Okay, if people order right now, how soon uh, they're gonna get the grinder? Let me know on the live chat section there. Also, shout out to Mr. Rainbow. And uh, let's see here. It's Namu Hulon Hesogomawi. Okay, I don't know how Mr. Rainbow has come up with their Korean words, but uh, thank you for the kind words. Okay, let's see here. Uh, again, I'm going to, uh, the Joe is right now on the live chat, so I'm going to ask him. I just asked him to, when's the shipping date on the Gen 2 for the DF64? Okay, hopefully he's going to let us know. And there comes the Timor uh, 064, uh, according to one of my viewers on the live chat, uh, shipping in November. Okay. And I know a lot of you already bought this way back when, okay, last April or May. They only pay, uh, they only pay what, 320, 340 for it way back when. But again, you have to wait to November and then hopefully Joe, okay, all right, uh, he's going to let us know when, okay, all right, okay, let's see here, I'm just going to, oh, here we go, uh, Joe, according to Joe, I've been shipping a lot of them directly from the manufacturer, okay, getting your two months, but shipping directly from uh, manufacturer cut down to one to four weeks, so what Joe is doing right now, uh, Joe is sending, you know, if you want to buy from Joe's website, sending you direct from the manufacturer, so one to four weeks. So that's, that's really good, okay, that's really good. So you don't have to wait for months at a time, okay. So that is fantastic. So I do have a Joe's uh, a link on my description, so make sure to check it out as well. It's all about the getting it, you know, okay, it's all about the uh, how soon you're going to get it. You know, I mean, comes to price is right for this uh, DF64 Gen 2 grinder. They're having that uh, uh, plasma generator, the anti-static device. I mean, that is a, like, for me, it's like game changer, okay? I mean, I don't get me wrong, I do love the workflow of making espresso, but I don't like the idea of put, you know, I mean, you know, put the liquid, right? You know, this mist, okay? That's mist here, okay, on my coffee, which means it's gonna coffee directly go inside my grinder as well. It's not a big deal, but again, it's another step, okay, another step uh, I'd have to deal with. But, you know, it is fun, okay, no, you know, I have to say it is fun, but I like the process of WDT, I, I do enjoy that. Distribution is also fun as well. Temping is good. So, again, so this is, some grinder is must. Okay, because of all the static. So this is must for the some grinders. So not having that with the DF64 Gen 2, you know, that doesn't mean it's going to be zero. Okay, that doesn't mean it's not a zero static, but you can, I mean, lower your static considerably. Okay, considerably. Okay. Okay, hold on a second here. Can get uh, get to over. Uh, Rick has a uh, what Rick said here. Uh, I said earlier that the latest on time or time or is that so delay that the new DF grinder can get your own overseas less than a month. Okay, so uh, Rick is talking about the time or because uh, Rick mentioned earlier November. There we go. And also Rick is also mentioned about the. Some Facebook uh, timer groups say it's not a great grinder. All right, it's not a great grinder. 
Okay, and uh, uh, according to Joe right now on the live chat, most people are getting in one to two weeks. Okay, one to two weeks. Come on guys, let's face it, 400 bucks for grinder, but especially nowadays. Man, I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty fast. Okay. I mean, if you ask me about three, four years ago, spending $400 on grinder, I say you're, you're out of your, of your mind. Okay, that's a lot of money. But after three years of playing with different gadgets and different grinders, 400 bucks is pretty good price. Okay, pretty good bargain. Especially 64 millimeter. Okay, I have to say 64 millimeter, and everything is all interchangeable as well. Especially if you are coffee hobbyist out there, if you want to try it with a different birds. Okay, different birds, different grinders, uh, different birds, which means MP cast. High uniformity, low uniformity, mizen birds, name it. They got a whole bunch of them out there, okay? I think the best, the grinder for the price interchangeable, okay? Uh, with the 064S, uh, changing birds are not that easy, okay? They have a lot of screws involved, okay? There's a lot of screws involved. So, uh, we'll see. Okay, uh, meantime, uh, let's brew some coffee with it. Okay. Okay. So Dave said, "Hold on." Dave said, "David, uh, Dave's been enjoying the old Gen two for some." Oh, you know what? I'm I'm telling you. Uh, if you are into filter coffee, only. If you are a filter person, uh, obviously O two Gen two is fantastic. Okay. All right. But you know, if you are into both, right? Both espresso and filter. Uh, you know what? I mean, you, you gotta just look a little more. Okay. Again, if you don't care about espresso, so now you have you know, a couple of different options. But if you want to do both, I mean, for the, if you want to spend less than 400 bucks, I mean, you are very limited, okay? You are very limited. I know, uh, like, they got like 40 millimeter conicals out there, like uh, S, uh, SK40. We have uh, Varia VS3s out. We have an optional makes that uh, the the mini as well. There are a lot of grinders, okay. There's a lot of grinders for that price range, but with a 64 millimeter flat bar, I mean, you we only have a few options. Okay, we only have a few options there. So meantime, let's brew some coffee with it. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's start with coffee from 064s. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know about grind size here. It's questionable. Uh, I'm not going to do WDT, okay? I'm just going to go straight. All right. I'm just going to straight from here. I'm going to distribute it. And I'm going to attempt it. And that's it. All right. I'm going to do very, very, I'm going to leave it very simple. Uh, uh, it's, uh, Rick is asked, why don't you dial in before getting on? Just because I can, Rick. Yeah, just because. I mean, that's why, I mean, because I want you to see the whole process, okay? Sometimes once you dial in before, you know, there's, I mean, because I want to be, you know, I want to be surprised, all right? I want to be surprised. That's the whole reason we are doing. That's the whole reason we are doing the live streaming here. All right. Okay, here we go. All right. So this is O sixty four S. Okay. Here we go. And I do like to enjoy the puck screen. I've been using it. I'm gonna to explain to you why I like to use the puck screen. Here we go. Uh, let's do one to two ratio, uh, 18 gram. So let's go with like about 40 grams out, okay? Let's go about 40 grams. All right. Let's put the shot again. No WDT, guys. So I wonder how much splashing we're gonna do.
Shot looks pretty good there so far. Lots of beautiful crema. I got 38 gram at 25 seconds. Okay, without dialing in. Okay. Without dialing in. All right, so let's go for the next shot. So, I mean, so this shot is definitely acceptable for my standard, okay? Uh, looking at the numbers, the ratio is right, okay? Uh, again, the reason why I'm using the puck screen, because, you know, you usually get a dry puck. All right, so we're gonna go for the next one here. This time is okay. DF sixty four Gen two. Okay, it looks clean. All right, shot number two. Let's lock it in. I mean, their both shot looks still good. I mean, they're both fantastic shots so far. Okay. Twenty-five seconds and thirty-seven gram, very close to next to each other. I mean, shot to shot. I mean, they're both great. Again, I have not dialed this one shot yet, but uh, I think consider we got lucky this morning. Okay. Consider we are lucky. I mean, here's the thing about the dialing in shot. I mean, I know a lot of people are curious what's the best way to dial in shots. I know, I know Ricky is asking me that earlier. Okay, why don't you dial in? Because, you know, the, the thing is I go live streaming every single morning. Okay, I mean, the fact is I have a limited number of coffee. All right. And I mean, they're both great, right? Uh, Rick, you just saw the shots. Okay. I mean, that's, there's no channeling there, no spraying. Yeah, again, today's a lucky day. Here we go. Cheers. So this is a shot from Timer. So, so here's the thing about the taste. Okay, here's the thing about the taste. And you know what? I mean, I wish... You know, I, I wish some of you are here right now, okay? So you guys are doing the test because unfortunately you have to take my word for it, all right? I mean, some people think that, you know, I can be biased. The fact is I got this both grinded for free anyway, okay? So I have no, I mean, I have no horse behind this. Okay, what's the horse saying, what? Yeah, but again, here you go, cheers. So this is a Timer 064S. Okay. All right, I'm not gonna comment on that yet. All right, so second shot is a DF64 Gen 2. Okay. Again, they're both uh, birds are stock birds. Okay, they're both stock birds there. So there's no upgrades yet. Here we go, cheers. Uh, this grinder has been, so timer has been, uh, I use a lot more, okay, I, uh, timers 064, I use a lot more than DF64 Gen 2 because I've been using for the last couple of months. So this one I have not, I only use it for the last couple of days, okay, as you saw unboxing earlier this week, uh, grind, the coffee, the burr hasn't, has not been seasoned yet. Having said that, Two shots uh, is a lot more uh, sharper, okay? 
sharp edge to it. It's not as balanced as a DF64 Gen 2. More round, more has a very uh, good mass feels to it as well. Uh, I mean, if I'm gonna, okay, so if I'm gonna pick the shot, I think I go with a shot from DF64 Gen 2 just because the, the mass feels to it. Okay, just the mass feels to it, that's it. Uh, comes to workflow. I mean, you saw the kind of like a live demo there. I mean, let me know, okay, which one you guys prefer? Yeah, let me know in the comment section, all right? Which of you guys prefer for the comes to workflow after you guys are watching the live streaming? Yeah, 64S or DF64 Gen 2, okay? And Justin asked me, please enable live chat replay setting feature on your stream. Okay, unable to, you know what, I don't, I, you know what, uh, Justin, let me look into that, okay, because I know exactly what you're talking about, okay? Sometimes I see one of my older videos, there's no live chat there, so, yeah, I'm curious about myself as well, so, so let me look at the settings, but, yeah, definitely, because, you know, live chat is the, the best part of my live streaming, I'll get kind of like back and forth with your questions and comments, yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see here. Again, uh, comes to workflow. I prefer the workflow from uh, DF64 Gen 2 because I can do direct dosing now. Okay, I can go direct dose since I don't have to worry about static anymore. So that is a plus. Okay, and also easier to interchange the birds as well on DF64. I mean, pretty much, you know, you got, you got the top birds out, very easy, bottom, a uh, couple screws. And then you can uh, exchange, you can interchange your 64 millimeter. Uh, I know you are talking about the alignment a lot. Okay, you know you want to align it if you want to. But I mean alignment can be. If you are into medium to dark rose, it's not a huge game changer. Okay, but if you are really into that, okay, that's fine. You can align it with some uh, foil as well, aluminum foil. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I have a video on, video on that as well, okay, on my uh, other videos, all right? So just look for it, okay? I have plenty of videos on uh, my, uh, uh, how to online your DF64 grinders. But based on this test, okay, very limited test, all right? Uh, comes to workflow, uh, tasting cup, uh, obviously, I prefer the DF64 Gen 2, okay, for this round, but who knows, right? If I'm going to pick out a different coffee, maybe DF064S uh, should be better, who knows? But for this one, uh, I like the coffee from uh, Gen 2, for now, okay? But again, I mean, for me, the workflow matters, okay? Uh, not have to do the RDT, it's called Rust Droplet Technique, so, yeah. And I know we have uh, friends from Espresso Outlet here. I know Joe's there right now, also we have uh, Dylan. Uh, they're uh, also a porter keeper as well. Uh, okay, so now they are talking about the bean seeker. So that is an iced coffee maker, okay, from Joe's, uh, Joe from Espresso Outlet. Just launched on Kickstar recently okay all right i uh, who's into iced coffee okay i mean joe we are getting into winter buddy we are getting into winter right now so i don't know how many people wants the iced coffee at the moment but who knows i know a lot of people out there drink iced coffee middle of the winter but i mean that but unless okay unless uh yeah uh, Linda say, Texas still need iced coffee. Actually, you know what? Uh, down under Australia, okay, they are going into summertime as well. Okay, summertime. Port Kipper say, people drink coffee all year around. All year around. All right, there we go. Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, Rick asks, uh, when you do the RDT, spraying beans like the hairstyle, Hair style, okay, hair style, the cutting, yeah, core, yes. Yep, that's true. 80% of Starbucks are cold. Yeah, that it is true, Joe. Yeah, people love that uh, caramel ice latte there. John is also 
loves the iced coffee. Good. Uh, by the way, so if you want to think about RDT, this thing I got from Amazon is a spectacular. Okay. It's a very fine mist. You see that fine mist coming out? So this is what I want. It looks so ugly, right? But, you know, I mean, I want to do with this, you know. So this thing is, I, I prefer this one, okay. Kind of like hairstylist, actually use that. It's pretty cool. All right, okay, again, if you're joining us uh, for the first timer, I mean, this is what we do, guys. Uh, every single day, hanging out, make some coffee, talk about coffee topics. We have about 57 people watching this morning, okay. Uh, make sure a thumbs up on the video, okay. We got 13 people likes video so far. If you are here right now, obviously you guys like the video, so make sure a thumbs up. Okay. We have a Mato. Mato from Max is also joining us as well. We have a couple of uh, Amazon vendors. Mato, shout out to Max. Uh, Max, everything is made in China nowadays, buddy. Everything is made in China. Okay. Okay, so, okay, hold on. Rick say... Uh, I got my hair cut the other day and they had a same spray bottle. This one here, my hair got so wet. I, I don't, you know, I'm telling you, I mean, this thing, just go, just use a little, okay? Just, just a little score. That's it. All right, just a little score. That's all you need. All right. Just a little bit, just a tiny bit. I must say, where did you get the Dimello? Uh, Dimello actually hooked me up last year. All right, so this is coffee from DiMello, my fellow Korean coffee roaster, okay? He sent me a little sample package. Again, uh, this is a Korean coffee roaster. So Korean people love so kind of like medium to dark roast. Uh, they're not quite there yet. If you go to Korea, mostly uh, dark, darker roast. You know, they love it. They love iso americano uh, and also americano as well. So. They want a little darker. You know what? They're going to get to it, okay? The light roasters are getting more popular nowadays. So they're going to get there eventually. But, yeah. Uh, if you're into light roast, that's a different story. Okay? If you're into right, light roast, uh, having a right burst matters. All right? Having a right burst matters. Okay, hold on. Joseph is asking for the live chat there. Do you have any experience with manual espresso machines? I'm debating, okay, I'm debating between Flare Pro 2 or Bambino Plus. You know, if I were you, just to, uh, go, uh, go with the Bambino Plus, okay, with the Bravo, all right? Go with the Bambino Plus with uh, DF64 Gen 2, that's a good match, okay? Uh, if you don't go with the manual express machine, all right? Uh, skip the Pro, go with the uh, 58, okay? Go with the 58. All right, you're gonna be much happier with 58. Okay. And uh, Dylan said Bambino all the way. All right, that's fine. Okay. But again, uh, if you can go, go with the Flare, go with the Flare 58 is the way to go. Okay. But let's work Bambino Plus is again. I think I go with the Bambino with uh, DF64V uh, Gen 2. That's a really good match as well. Okay. I mean, it can go wrong with the Bravo machines. I mean, but if you want to go with the Bravo, okay, and uh, just make sure shop around, okay? Uh, sometimes you're going to get a good deal on it. All right, let's see here. And the Dylan say, trust me, I don't know. Okay, but again, uh, Bravo machines have been around for a long time, so they have track records. But again, the Flare Pro 2, no. Okay, it's not the best machine for that. You're gonna be frustrated. Okay, uh, if you wanna go with the flare, uh, once again, 58, go with the 58. All right, I think you're gonna be much happier with the 58. But flare 58, it's like 540 bucks, 540. Bambino Plus, what, 300 bucks? Okay, if you're gonna add a little bit more money, go with the DF64 Gen 2. So yeah, it's the numbers not in the numbers there, okay? So again, because of Flare 58, you still need to get a separate grinder anyway. So if you wanna save some money, something easier, yeah, Bambino is really good. All right, Bambino is good. 
Okay, folks. I I, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this morning session. And then I'm gonna look into how to able the live chat. Okay, from from uh, Justin. Is that Justin earlier asked me? Yeah. What's Justin about the live chat, Abel? All right, here we go. And then I must say I will go for Bravo Dual Boiler. Sure, if you have a 1500 bucks. All right, Dual Boiler is a great, great coffee machine. Uh, I, think, I, th I think we are, well, hold on. Dave say, I have noticed that sometimes live chat is there, sometimes it's not. Yeah, I think it could be the YouTube issues as well. It might be the YouTube. Okay, it might be the YouTube. So, we'll see. Uh, Linda said, can you travel with the Bambino? Of course, Linda. You can travel with any coffee machine, any Bravo machines. Um, if you see my content throughout the year, whenever I go on vacation, I bring my Bravo Bista Pro or Express. Okay. Okay, all the time. Uh, if I drive somewhere, I'm staying at the hotel room, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing it. Yeah, I'm bringing it all the time. Because why spend 6 $7 on cup of coffee? You're going to have a great coffee in your hotel room. Okay. So bring the whole thing. Okay, Bambina is even better. They're smaller than uh, Bravo Machine, Bravo Express or Pro. So yeah, even better. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'll do it. All right. Again, you can bring anything. Uh, you can bring anything. Definitely, definitely bring it. Okay, I think we are good for this morning. And uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't, uh, we're going to talk about something this afternoon. Uh, I'm trying to plan something for you guys. Uh, something really fun. Okay, uh, Osman said, did you travel to Bianca? No. I mean, someone asked me about, do I, uh, do I like Bianca? Okay, I mean, I love the Bianca as a machine, but it's not, okay? It's not practical motion for the, if you have a big family, okay? If you have family, likes to drink coffee, everybody wants coffee in the morning. Bianca is not the one for your family, okay? For you maybe, right? Because on my house, my wife uses coffee machine, my boys are using it. Unless you want to dedicate yourself every morning, at least half an hour to make coffee for entire your family, go right ahead. I'll get yourself a Bianca and a nice grinder. Okay, but you have to maintain it. But if you want to let your family use it, uh, go with the Express or Pro. Okay, go Express or Pro. So, I mean, that's my recommendation. All right. Oh, you have the Mega. Uh, okay, make Espresso great again. Off topic, where can I get the Bravo lever and temper? Uh, uh, I believe you can get one from... The Bravo from, uh, let's see, Whole Latte Love, if not uh, eight ounce, I believe. Okay, Whole, whole Latte Love serves it. But man, there are, unless you are serious coffee hobbyist, okay, they are expensive but really nice uh, coffee tools. Okay, they're tools. All right, they are fantastic, but yeah. But again, uh, they are really great. But if you're a coffee hobbyist, definitely worth it, you know, looking into. But if you're a regular person, wants to buy nice tools, you got to really think about it for sure. Okay. Okay, Rick say, you want, you want your family to use the crappy machines? Y you know what? Yeah, I mean, it's not, probably it's not that crappy. Okay, they're a good machine for family. All right. Because I don't want to have that stress. Okay. I clean these machines daily. Okay, I clean it, I maintain it. I just make sure everything is just right. Okay, if you, uh, if you give it to my 20 years old son, guess what? He's not gonna take care of it. Okay, all right, he's not gonna take it. He, I bet you he's gonna, if I'm not there, he's gonna put the, uh, uh, just regular uh, faucet water, okay? All right, because I have a separate water for that as well. So yeah, so having that, having said that, Again, if you have a big family, everybody using coffee, everybody use their coffee machine. Yeah, I mean, don't spend, don't spend too much money on your coffee bar. Okay, I mean, that's my thoughts. Uh, maybe Rick has a different thoughts, but yeah. Okay, so Troy, they are simple to use. My partner would hate... Okay, my partner would hate a complicated machine. That's true, okay? 
I mean, think about it. All right? I mean, a lot of step to it. Okay, Rick said, no one touching my coffee bar. Yes, Rick has the right idea. Okay. Okay, Rick has the right idea. Unfortunately, I cannot say that on my house. Okay. That's why I have my dedicated space here on my workplace. This is it. Okay, Justin said, got a bribery for my daughter. Okay, okay, oh, it's fun. I was really impressed. Uh, over my Giada. Can't tell much. Okay, okay. Can't tell much. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, Fear said, do you speak French? No, I speak Korean. That's about it. Okay. I know we got a couple of people on a live chat there. I bet you they speak French. Uh, Dylan say, uh, no one touches mine either. Yeah, Dylan has a really nice coffee machines. He doesn't even have kids. Okay. He does not have kids either, but his wife cannot touch his coffee bar. Yeah. Justin said, I love how it heats up so fast. And you know, Bravo Machine, you can make coffee in like less than a 10, uh, 10 minutes. Uh, Rick said, Rick is speaking French, uh, Spanish as well. Okay. All right, guys. Again, once again, so this is what we do every morning. Okay, if you're first time joining us, we're just hanging out, make some coffee. That's it. Okay, nothing more, nothing less. All right, I, I'm going to take one last question from Ahmed here. Okay, Ahmed say, will you change MC fibers to SSB Conoco? Answer is, uh, answer is no. Okay, I'm just going to, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay. All right. And uh, we are going to talk about uh, grinders and burrs maybe next couple of days. I'm going to share with you my thoughts on it, uh, how out of control with the uh, grinder markets are. I mean, they are really, really out of control. So, But it's fun. If you're a coffee hobbyist, this is a great time to be in. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to see you guys this afternoon.